Dolmas, baklava, euros. Mm, eat like a Greek. The Denver Greek Festival has been a Denver tradition for nearly 60 years. Last year, like many other events, it was canceled, but it's back, baby. It's going to look a little bit different, though. Elaine Laird is the organizer of the festival. She joins us live now. Good morning. Uh, good morning, and I am not the organizer of the festival. There are so many people working on Great. it. I just try to help them promote it. I can't take that credit because the guys have done such a phenomenal job in organizing this. We only had one month's notice and somehow we were able to make all this food and organize this drive through. You are amazing and I know putting on a big event like this is a big team effort. So it's great that you gave a shout out to a lot of people. So this is something I know a lot of Coloradans look forward to every year. I've been to the Greek Fest. It's a blast. It all starts today. So what's the plan for this year? Okay, so unfortunately we can't put on the whole festival because they only told us in May that we could do anything. So there isn't going to be dancing and all that. It's going to be a drive through sort of like in and out or Chick-fil-A and hopefully it runs smoothly, but we're going to be able to give everybody, you know, the opportunity to still eat all the good food that we make, including the lucumadas, the fried little dumplings with honey mm. and uh, nuts and cinnamon. And we have gyros and souvlaki and pastizza, which is our Greek lasagna. We have yes. spanakopita. We have a beautiful, that, that dessert box is what you can buy. And that Greek salad looks absolutely amazing. I haven't tasted it yet. It all looks amazing. Uh, am I allowed to eat this? Do I have to share? <laughs> well, you might want to share just, you know, for political purposes in yes. the office, but it's all for you guys. We are not coming to take it back <laughs> afterwards. It smells so good. <laughs> and we can bring more, no problem. Okay, so this is a drive through I think this is a great idea, just thinking outside the box, a way to kind of pull it off this year. Uh, what went into the planning to do this, you were saying, with like a month's notice? Right. Well, we wanted to stay present in the community. We love sharing our culture. We love sharing our food. It's all part of who we are. And everybody misses the Greek festival. We miss it. We may complain while we're working it because it is a lot of work, but we're always so happy and we're always so proud of ourselves when it's done and everybody loves it. I mean, there aren't very many people that I can speak to that haven't heard of the Denver Greek festival. And so we wanted to see how we could still produce both a fundraiser and a cultural event. And we actually studied, we consulted with Chick-fil-A, believe it or not, because <laughs> we've never done a drive through before. And we hope it works smoothly. The Glendale police are helping us. The front of our church is in Denver. The back of our church is in Glendale. So Glendale's really proud to have us be their only, only church. And they are really proactive with us. And so people are going to drive up from Dahlia side and come in. We have two lanes. We have it organized. We have breeders. We have menu givers. We have order takers. We have runners and we're hoping it's going to be really smooth and that everybody's going to be able to go home and have a Greek feast. I they love, should just come I, in and buy one of everything. I love that you consulted Chick-fil-A. That's the best people to consult because we know their drive through goes really smoothly. So what can people expect when they go through the drive through? How is it all going to work? Well, when they drive in, they'll be greeted. They'll be given a menu, although everything is also online. They can do pre-orders. We have a special pre-order pickup. We do have a walk up section for people in the neighborhood or people who just want to walk in. It's not, they can't walk up to the booth like in the festival, but there's a walk-up section. And again, we'll have a runner bring the food over. And then when they come in, they'll be separated into two lanes. They'll fill out their order. They'll pay for it. And a nice little runner will go down the row of booths and pick up all the food and then meet them as they proceed through the line. And then they'll turn up to Alameda. It's all, you know, coned off. And then they'll turn only right. You can only go east on Alameda because we're trying to handle traffic. We're hoping it's such a success that we have to use our lower lot to ser serpentine the cars, just kind of like in and out Chick-fil-A do when they get crowded. So we're hoping for a big crowd. I hope so too. They must miss I, our food I, by now. Yeah, <laughs> I love that you guys came up with an idea to, to get around it all this year. Do it with a month's notice, which is incredible. We were just watching video of dancing, which is heartbreaking. You won't have it this year because I know that's a big part of Greek Fest. Right. But you'll bring it back next year, I'm sure. And oh, we're going to put all the next information. Next year we're going to be bigger and better. Exactly, exactly. I'm sorry, Corey. Yes. That's okay. Yes. So uh, yeah. we're going to put all the information about Greek Fest, the drive through and everything people need to know on our website at 9news.com. Thank you so much for joining us and dropping off all the goods. Oh, thank you, Corey. Next year we'll do it together in yes, person. Absolutely.